I was saying, uh, we ran out of space, so we had to grab Stephanie's phone now. So, um, if they believe that this world is going to end, which will be a lot of the um, global warming, maybe an asteroid, asteroid will hit, maybe... Um, ice Age. Yeah, Ice Age. Any of those stories that they believe that they've got to get off the planet because the planet is going to be... It's going to self-destruct. Then they will either get off with the geckos, or the geckos will steal them, or take them prisoner and slaves, which will take them to slave planets in 4D. Planets in 4D. Uh, there are also slave-type planets in, by the pigeons, and the geckos, which I've had people ask me, so I'll go ahead and say this. The geckos are what I would call what you and what you would call more the bad guys uh, the dark side frequently identified as the reptilians although there's all different kinds of alien beings that are on this side those are the beings that basically operate from a power they're um, the Sith hmm? they're the Sith they're the Sith <laughs> they're the ones that operate in whoever's got who's the strongest rules and this is not necessarily patriarch patriarchy either and on earth it has been the patriarchy but not in 4d 4d it could be different races and um these beings form galaxies solar systems multiverses where they buddy up together but within their groups, there's always infighting because they believe that if you can get enough power and if you can beat the guy above you, then you get to take his place. So it's they're very upfront. They very seldom, um, although they do a lot of manipulating with humans, when it comes to 4D, almost everybody knows who they are. They don't hide it from each other. Um, they will manipulate beings like humans because humans don't, aren't very aware in order to get them to save planets or steal their energy so that is the geckos and their side of 4d is generally not always but generally it is more practical it is darker uh, they don't waste a lot of time on making things bright and shiny and fun looking at all they're very all about um efficient yeah efficient being like uh, it's all about power and money only their money is is done in different ways than gold or paper like it is here but it, they're all about power and money and control okay then the pigeons are all about uh they want control too but they're the ones that if you see in movies where you'll see some bright shiny city where everything is beautiful but what, what's a movie um uh, demolition man you have serenity um where you see mm, these perfect utopian looking but total restriction right <clears throat> but they say okay here's perfection but we say perfection means this you need to act like this do this oh divergent divergent yeah you've got all of these ways that you must be so they're very controlled, too, just like the geckos, but they do it under the guise that it's for your own good. And that's the other side of 4D. Those places and those planets are very bright and shiny and pretty, but uh, they are also very rigid in, in how they control people. They also will have, whereas over on the gecko side, they'll say, well, we're stronger than you. So you do as we tell you to do. On the other side, on the pigeon side, they'll say things like, well, we're ascended masters. We know better than you. We're so do wiser. as we tell you to do. Yeah, we're wiser. We're, we're helping you. Yeah, we're helping you. Hmm. Both sides will have machines that will heal, that will help you learn things instantaneously, that will produce food instantaneously whereas the pigeons will have really nice amounts of food and the geckos will will just think 
you know, bread and water. If you're nutrition bars, yeah, nutrition bars, and so that because they're very practical and humans will be worth a lot because of the genetics that are in our bodies, but we will be very unenlightened. So if they take you, uh, it's very much like they'll be taking care of cattle, pretty much like they do here, only not as nice. Whereas the pigeons, you'll be kept in a very gilded cage. Gilded cage. So if you are a lot of the New Age people that they're following Ascended Masters or Jehovah or... Angels. Hmm? Angels. Angels or St. Germain, any of that kind of stuff, then where you're not doing it yourself, where another group, you're relying on them to assist you. That then, then as Gaia leaves 4D altogether, then these people will go off planet, either with or they will be beamed up Scotty by either the geckos or the pigeons. And it, when they're off, and just think everybody gets on either a ship with the geckos or the pigeons, and if they're in the ships, geckos pigeons, everybody that believes in this, and they'll turn around and look at Gaia. Here's Gaia. And what they will see is they will see that Gaia looks like it's blown up and becomes a star. Okay? Now to them, this is Gaia self-destructing. In reality, Gaia has stepped out of 4D altogether, raised its vibrations, brought in a whole bunch of more light and it will look like a star to them. Now on Gaia is everyone who is in 5D. So if you want to go to 5D Gaia, the best thing to do is to keep your feet firmly on the ground with Gaia. Do not be in a, do not be in fear, judgment, good or bad. Continue to work on that, and then you will be on this star. So there's the, they'll see Gaia just blowing up, the rapture people. Then there's the 4D people that will have leave and go to the gecko or pigeon side, and they will see Gaia turning into a star. And then there are the people that will stay on Gaia who will transform because they will be raising their vibration drawing in more lights. So if somebody on 5D after this point were to jump over to say, see a friend who stayed on 4D, um, let's see, Pleiades. So I am on 5D Earth and I'm at the halfway point so I can step outside of time and space and I can pop over to a friend who stayed on 4D or, I mean, 4D Pleiades, and I go over to Pleiades, and I said, hey, how you doing? To them, I would look very angelic. Very, very, very angelic, full of light, radiating massively, bright light. Just like the planet would look like a star to the geckos and the pigeons and everyone in 4D. Now, in order for you to stand on the planet with Gaia and go to 5D, you must do these things that I've been telling you to do. You must start doing all of these things. You must uh, get become unattached to everything. You must understand there's no such thing as good or bad. You must understand that we are all one and that there's no such thing ultimately as privacy because we all are telepathically um, in touch with each other. You must not have judgment at all in any regard. And then you will do all of these things that will be much more precise that I'll be walking you through on a much more, um, less numbers to me. Let's see, on the website, we'll be able to do less numbers and meet back and forth so I can help walk you through the more intricate parts of getting you to be able to stay on Gaia as she goes to 5D. But the 
Until then, you have to be able to get everything that's already in my videos on YouTube now. You have to be able to do all of those. And you don't have to do it all the time, but you do have to do it the majority of the time. And the closer you get to doing it all of the time, the easier your trip through 4D onto 5D will be. Okay. So, I guess that's probably enough for this one. <laughs> Again, pretty long video. Hopefully, this clarifies where 5D is a little bit better and uh, where you go when you die so that um, you can understand, number one, uh, it's too difficult for me to explain you star seeds, most of you to describe these other creations because there isn't anything in this creation that I can give you an example of. They're so different than here. They're all wonderful though. The places that all of you star seeds have come from are wonderful. Occasionally, I can give some of you an idea of the places that you come from because there is something I could relate to in this creation. But most of the time, I simply do not have words in this creation that I can explain that to you. So you come from out here, less than 10 lives. You come into this creation with Bob, with his friend Jim, down to Gaia to help her move up through 3D and in that process, which you have done, she is capable of doing it. You did it. Thank you very much, everyone. But now you have a choice of staying in the human body and riding it out to get to 5D Earth or dying and going outside this creation and home or source or void or creating something new or staying in 4D where there are two basic options options Ooh, my mouth is dry but within those two basic options there are infinite other options as well there are some pigeon places that aren't too bad there are some gecko places that aren't too bad well, there are technically neutral places there well there's really not completely neutral they are oh, always fighting compared to those close, two very close where the lines are there are places that get darn close as close as they can be there. But there's always that struggle of mm. the light trying to take the dark and the dark trying to take the light, no matter what that. And I think what Bob will do continue to do is will continue to fractal down this creation in the hopes of getting at to some level where he can bring those things back together with that dualistic nature to see if they can be balanced. I think he will continue to try that that's the game to see if it can get to the point in some way where he can create it on some level where that duality can stabilize and stay put without one trying to get overwhelmed the other, that they always are stably balanced. My guess is, I guess, isn't I just asked the question? He said, yes, that's what he intends to do. So as usual, when I ask a question, I get the answer immediately before I even get the question out. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because I think that's enough. If you guys would, just listen to that over and over again until you get a real feel for it. And uh, yeah, beautiful day today. I am so happy to be outside. And uh, I just want to let you guys know that I love you so so much more than you will well you'll find out later soon enough right okay huge hugs and i'll talk to you later bye now